Yo, what's up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on another video. So this video is going to be pretty much me doing a custom build. I'm going to be doing a quick mini. Uh, I'm not going to do a tutorial on it, but I will kind of like show you guys what I'm doing in the process. But essentially we have a custom aerial that I did a while ago. We'll show a video of that in a second. But this is a brand new uh, unbuilt Lufreeth um unpainted i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and build it do a straight build just to have fun with it and kind of go ahead and just kind of showcase like everything that it has also on top of this um i will be adding a flight pack unit to it so this is actually pretty cool i scored this at an anime convention uh like 10 bucks so pretty pretty cool there i don't quite know what color we're gonna paint that but i know that's gonna be a part of it um, I didn't want to get another mirror soul flight unit because I didn't really want to, you know, try to replicate what I've already done. You can't strike gold after this. But so far, when you actually unbox the uh, the Lufreet, it comes with very minimalistic stuff, which is really really awesome because that's what you look for. Nice. So right off the back, you'll notice you really don't have much. And that's actually pretty badass. This is the inner frame. This is gonna be the backpack unit too. And as for the armor, the armor looks pretty dope. This looks like uh, the bits and everything for the shield, also for the thruster and the helmet. This is what we have. This is what I'm thinking I may go ahead and use a prism. Wow, I'm, I'm so dumb. I also even have uh, <clears throat> a Mr. Metallic Purple GX, but the cool thing is, I actually have the Witch from Mercury. It's over there on my desk, but I have the Witch from Mercury uh, actual color. So what I went ahead and did was I made a certain combination of that uh, purple and the witch from mercury and I actually got this pretty unique combo. So I have a little bit of a lighter color than what I have over here, a little bit of a less sparkle, but that's what I wanted. I wanted more of a brighter tone color, but also wanted a metallic finish. So. I really love the stock color that this comes with. Like to see a Gunpla come with this much pink, it's actually really dope. Uh, I don't really prefer the color pink. I'm more of a purple and a green kind of person, like the Eva, uh, the Evil, Evil One unit. But this right here is pretty sick. Um, you have some more armor on the other side, pretty much for the arms, legs, joints, and uh, yeah, pretty much arms, legs, and joints. Uh, I can't ever really fully say what everything is. Like right here, I'm looking at these. Actually, I can tell you that's for the back legs or something. But like looking at this stuff right here, it's like, man, I wonder what that is. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I'm actually going to have a really badass time with this. Also, you see you get the uh, permit score holographic uh, shield bit there. So, right on. So, as you can see, we have our Lufreeth. This is everything that it came out to right now. This is kind of, uh, I call it battle mode with the gun kind of chilling out. You also have your shield. Now, something I want to notate about the shield is the shield from the aerial. If you build the aerial first, you're going to notice the shield is really thin. Like, we saw this on display, we saw dare. this in the model box, and, and on like social media, and dude, nobody's talking about it, but it is thin. You get this little um, slide down peg here, gotta be careful with it because it's super tiny, but you, you pretty much just insert it, and then slide it up, and it's got a, uh, I wanna say like a 2 millimeter peg there, because it doesn't look like a 3 millimeter that will fit into the sides of the free. I thought it was gonna be a super tedious build, but actually finished it rather quick so yeah pretty cool stuff here pretty cool stuff here we're just doing a simple straight build because i'm fixing to take it uh, apart and i'm gonna kind of get everything ready and we're gonna go ahead and repaint it so the weapon's pretty simple weapon's gonna come with two main uh cast uh two cascade parts right here one of them is gonna come with the handle then you're gonna have these kind of top bit pieces here that just kind of get inserted to the top of it to kind of make it look more like a gun there's one up top and there's one on the bottom. Your beam also just, oh, I just noticed when those are inserted in, whoops, you can't get the blade out. So you have to kind of like wriggle it and then you can lock it in. Last but not least, we have our backpack. Backpack is actually super simple. I'm telling you guys, this is a really simple high grade. I feel like the area was a little bit more complex than 
All right, so before we go on to the next bit, I'm actually gonna be using this uh, propeller tank that I got from 30 Minute Missions. Uh, I picked this up at a con, it was like 10 bucks, but I think it's gonna look really dope and it's gonna add a nice like, uh, kind of like appeal to the loofer. All right, so I'm a little bit of a liar. I know I said I was gonna wait and paint this later, but I went ahead and just built this anyways. And damn, I'm actually really, really happy I did. Dude, I, I cannot stress this enough. I built this in literally two minutes, maybe even. Right on, right on. So taking a look at it, this is what we should have afterwards. This is kind of what your equipment and everything can look like at the start. Now, for some reason, it does like to fall out. Uh, I guess it's just the Lufreeth, but yeah, that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and kind of place this. I actually, after building this, I ain't even gonna lie. I wanna get two more of these and just have them on deck. I wanna do a really, really dope well, shit, now that I think about it, I was going to say, I want to do a really, really dope Exia build, but the Exias don't quite just have, well, at least the real grade doesn't have a 3mm uh, peg hole, so that'll be a customization all on its own. I went ahead and threw a little bit of Mr. Metallic GX color. I think this is a 206, yeah, 206, because I have a uh, clear purple over there, and then I went ahead and found a little bit of the actual high grade Witch from Mercury, uh, god damn it, camera, you are just against me today. The high grade Witch from Mercury Pink, and it's even titled Lufreeth Pink. I didn't really have to use too much. So yeah, a good majority, like I'm talking a little bit of this right here was 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 thin. Now we also have Mr. Metallic GX Super Silver. This is actually gonna be used on a good majority of the innards, uh, the body and the frame. Another color that I wanted to step into, these two are kind of relatively the same, but I'm entering the Prism Gang, all right? We got Diamond Silver and then Prism Green. I think I showed this one at least on camera earlier, but this one's kind of like a white color with a little bit of a green emerald prism reflection to it. Now this one over here, just all silver, baby, all silver. So those are the paints. That's what I'm gonna be using. Um, I have this uh, already thinned version because this is the excess. This is actually what uh, that is. As you can see, we are in the middle of painting. We just did our first batch, so we went ahead and turned everything. Well, we have a little bit of mismatch equipment here, so let me go ahead and try my best to get the camera refocused up here. Uh, but yeah, up here essentially is uh, a little bit of the backpack and some, th uh, shit. Th this piece right here goes a little bit above the knee because there's a thruster. This is the plate that kind of covers above. These are the two back thrusters that go on the backpack and uh, blah, 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 blah. This actually goes on the shoulder. So this stuff I can actually go ahead and take off and put off to the side because I am fixing to go out there and I need this because this is my base. And we're gonna go ahead and put a bunch more of these uh, white pieces here that you can see. And we're gonna place these on some alligator clips and we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some of that prism green no no i'm so sorry this is that super diamond this is that stupid diamond silver that i have as you can tell ooh, that was a mosquito or something i don't know but anyways uh as you can tell i got a little bit of paint on me because we did the first half and things came out pretty good we are we already have a little bit of pieces for the uh propane propane for the uh, thruster take on the back so i'm pretty excited for the rest of that I'm gonna go ahead, I've actually decided the rest of it, I'm gonna go ahead and make like a dark gray. We're gonna try this Acrisian, or Acrisian uh, paint. Uh, it's gonna be the first time that we try as far as like a, a non-metallic. I love the hell out of the metallics, so I know I'm gonna love that. For the most part, I'm looking around because I'm like, okay, so here, this is gonna be the last time because I don't wanna film everything, but this is pretty much me showing you what everything is. I have this all set out because this is going to be a phantom gray color that I have, and then we have my Mr. Metallic DX, and now, I'm still debating, okay? I did get a new one today, a darker, so I may go ahead and go with that one. I'll find the number and we'll put it up here on the video, but uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do. Man, so I gotta say, overall, Blue Freeze. I think it came out pretty well, truth be told. Check that out. Yeah. Oh, snap. No, I think I did pretty good on this. Uh, minimal paint issues I'm seeing every now and then uh, but that's really on the thrusters and that's because I used a certain type of black so we're gonna go ahead and check out some more uh, poses and we'll just see what this looks like damn
this is nice. We'll go ahead and talk about what colored paint and everything I use too. We'll go from there. So this is uh, this is pretty much our after body. This is what we have fully customized, fully painted, and everything. I didn't want to stray too far off, but I think I I think I did a damn good job. I went ahead and fused into metallics, and I was actually just gonna use all the same same purple. Honestly, this this like light purple that you're seeing right here on the chest and everything, I was gonna use that all over until I found this dark purple the other day when I was kind of roaming through my stores and. I don't know, you guys, I think it smacks, I think it's, uh, the backpack, I definitely did a really good job on, especially with the thrusters, like, dude, silver, metallics, priming, surface, surface coating and everything on this to keep the shiny stuff, like, I'm touching it with my gloves and everything, no residue, not like the, uh, what is it, the Gaia, Gaia notes that I normally use, yeah, I think, I think I've kind of, I think I've got a little bit of think. It was a pretty genius idea to go ahead and do like the main backpack to be something dark coated and then for the outside to go ahead and be light. So for me to make it into the next form, this is what I got to go ahead and do. I actually have to, yeah, because this is going to be facing up. Okay, so to put it in the form that I'm going to put it in, it's pretty simple. You just got to flip these over, right? You saw how I did that. And then you see these up here, you're probably thinking, what? the hell what are you doing there buddy boy but it's perfectly fine because i'm going to show you so taking apart my my shield let me go ahead and take this apart and then i'll show you guys exactly what i mean and why i did those certain modifications check all right so let's go ahead and talk so the reason why i went ahead and flipped those around was because we have our blades over here from the shield right and all i'm going to go ahead and do it's kind of revertly put mine in there, make sure it's nice and neat. So it's gonna look like I've got like these extended blades. Now these are the back thrusters and they should stay kind of like in the back, but what I'm doing is I flip them overhead so we can kind of give this like, uh, anybody seen a uh, freaking Marvel movie lately? Cool, you seen the Iron Spider? Awesome. You seen how the Iron Spider has, uh, has uh, pincers or whatever that like fight for it and everything? that was the premise so that's kind of what we did so yeah i like that i went ahead and threw these up there especially because they add for a little bit of a color depth so the purple reflects because it carries because there wasn't enough dark purple up at the top so i like that i went ahead and did this up here because it just kind of like adds dark purple dark purple dark purple and yeah i didn't really do any dark purple down here but i thought that that would be pretty cool because i was going to have this marker tie in so it is what it is my dudes yo hey before we actually get on to the finale of what the thruster pack and everything else looks like on the Lufrith, i'd actually like to take a second and thank you for just watching my videos thank you for participating in the live streams thank you for being there for the, the giveaways and just thank you for supporting some dude uh we're almost to 400 well, we're actually almost to 500 followers or subscribers on youtube whatever i'm really just trying to get to that 1000 because uh, you know my life gets a lot easier and all of this gets a lot easier so if you can it would mean the world to me if you can just hit that like and that subscribe button that's all that i'm asking and it actually enters you for the ability to get free uh gundams in the future yeah we definitely got a lot of giveaways uh I even have fans who watch the channel contributing new prizes, like new unfilled gunpla. Um, I don't want to spoil everything, but they're they're going out of their way to supply prizes because they like what we do and they want to put a smile on your face too. So um, yeah, definitely check this out. Let's see what we got.
here's my final project. So I guess you can call it my full salt uh, Lufrith. But this is it. This is everything from uh, start to finish. But so far for me doing custom, you know, Witch from Mercury, I can't say I've ever seen some kits and said, dude, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this, more. So looking at this, this was about, uh, what, $30 all in all? But this is probably the best $30 that I've spent because you got, you know, 20 bucks for your loot free if you can definitely get one. And then this is a 30 minute $10 uh, mission pack. Yeah, dude, it's available. But uh, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you like the uh, the overall Witch from Mercury series. I'm loving the kits. I've only built the, the Ariel and the Lufreeth, but I'm actually fixing to go ahead and build. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Where you at? I copped me a figure. So we're gonna go ahead and build this uh, here in just a little bit. Uh, honestly, we're just gonna free comfort build this. But guys, I did just realize something as I kind of moved some of the products away. But after you build the Lufreeth, you will have some side extra project or some extra parts. So don't feel like you're missing up, you're messing up or uh, missing some stuff. So first things first, you got your beam savers. Your beam savers are also gonna be put off to the side. You're gonna have a part of your bit funnels here. Actually, pretty much gonna have the whole thing, truth be told. Um, yeah, you probably could fit this on the back normally if you weren't using a uh, weapons pack, but you know, I'm using a Thruster pack. Sorry, not a weapon pack, but a Thruster pack. Uh, the bottom thin funnel and then this top part also do go to the rifle, but I don't see myself using that because I like the rifle. Uh, I like the rifle being a part of the overall project because it kind of, like I said, it makes it looks like the uh, blue Kaiju Godzilla fin. So this is, uh, this is me signing off saying uh, definitely uh, keep watching the channel don't forget to like and subscribe we're also going to have some more videos we're going to be doing a tips and trick uh, video after the burger pente i'm just going to call it the burger gundam so after i build the burger gundam i'm going to go ahead and be doing a little tips and tricks i'm going to be building a entry strike gundam over here and i'm just going to be teaching you guys and talking to you guys about what you can do to just kind of make your stuff look a lot cooler uh you're probably thinking dude you just got done telling us about your mistakes yeah i did but i also can tell you about my awesome uh my wins so like for example this is a clear entry grade strike gundam I could also kind of help my fellow people kind of get that metallic approach to it. You know what I mean? There's a lot that you can learn from one another. So really, man, I'm just kind of here to just kind of spread the good word of Gumpla and just kind of talk to y'all and learn about other models and just kind of learn tips and tricks myself. So, you know, from one person to another, thank you guys for always being here. I'll catch you in the next one. Go Gumpla.